Hey guys, it's Chris. From animals that are below the snow to its geographical mysteries and more, join us as we explore what is under Antarctica. Number 9. Invertebrates When you think about life in Antarctica, you would likely picture specific animals, but state that there are only select life forms living there. But interestingly, if you were to go into the snows of the continent and look around, and look closely, you'll find a whole host of invertebrates lurking around. 67 different species to be precise, and those are just the ones we know of. There's nematode worms, mites, and rotifer, which are also called wheel animal, and the tardigrade, also known as the water bear, and the springtail. All different, all unique, all live in Antarctica but defining them as living is sometimes a misnomer. This is because they aren't exactly living all the time. You see, if the temperature goes above freezing point, they'll start to move around and go about their days. Yet when it drops, which is often given the average temperature of Antarctica is below zero at times, they'll hibernate for lack of a better term. Their moving periods sometimes only last an hour when they're lucky whereas their hibernation can sometimes last up to months. You might question whether this is truly living, but they are alive, just in a form of stasis because of the cold. What's more, it proves that creatures both large and small can live within the majorly cold conditions of the continent. It also raises the question of what other creatures we might turn up if we are able to dig deeper under the surface snow of Antarctica. Number 8. Antarctic Lakes Water in Antarctica is a curious thing because, technically, it's all around you when you're there because of the snow. But in terms of actual bodies of water, that was thought to be impossible outside of the surrounding ocean. Then a man named Jonathan Kingslake came along and changed everything. In 2010, he was observing a picture from Google Earth of the Nivlison ice shelf in Antarctica. And when he did, he noticed that there were water channels that could clearly be seen. Channels that would only exist if there was a lake around there. The idea of such a drainage system in Antarctica was long thought of as impossible because of the cold temperatures. But Kingslake's discovery prompted a more rigorous search of Antarctica. And they found around 700 different drainage systems throughout the continent each of them feeding a lake in one form or another. Some of the water even traveled 75 miles in order to reach the lake it was heading to. That's a long way for a continent that is said to not have any such things. An 80 kilometer long lake existed on the surface of the earth without us really knowing about it, and it's just incredible to me, notes Kings Lake. The findings of these systems in lakes has changed not only how we look at Antarctica, but how we can look at the oceans at large given enough time. I think in the long run this field of research will lead to improved sea level predictions, Kingslake says. But we're at such an early stage, it's impossible for us to say whether predictions of sea level rise will be increased or decreased by this observation. This discovery alone proves that there are things under Antarctica that we haven't truly grasped yet, and that was not the only hidden thing to shake up our perceptions of the continent. Number 7. Gambertsev Subglacial Mountains I want you to picture a mountain range. Now I want you to picture that mountain range being buried to the tips and beyond in snow and ice. That's exactly what's going on with the Gambertsev Subglacial Mountains in Antarctica. This is a mountain range that is apparently very old hundreds of millions of years old, and some even say billions, and yet they're buried in snow and ice on the continent. To give you a reference, the mountains themselves rise 10,000 feet into the air, but then there's 15,000 feet of ice and snow on top of those mountains, which is why you won't see them if you go visit Antarctica, not unless you have something that can see through the snow. It's very fitting that the initial results of Antarctica's Gambertsev Province project are coming out 100 years after the great explorers raced to the South Pole, said Alexandra Isern, program director at the National Science Foundation. The scientific explorers of Antarctica's Gambertsev Province project worked in harsh conditions to collect the data and detailed images of this major major mountain range under the East Antarctic Ice Sheet. The results of their work will guide research in this region for many years to come. What's also mystifying people about these mountains is that they still exist. Mountains erode over time, especially in the presence of ice and water which breaks down the rocks. And yet these ones seem unfazed. Research into these mountains is still ongoing. But with this find, the question of whether other geological formations like these mountains are buried beneath the ice and snow can now be asked. Number 6. Mystery Structure Google Earth has been a great way for people around the world to view the world in many different ways. 
But an unexpected side effect of this was people looking at the map and finding things they didn't know were there. When one man went to examine Antarctica, he found a blurred out section of a map that was so large, he felt it couldn't be anything other than a massive building. I've searched the entire continent and can't find anything quite like it. I thought maybe there's a peculiar place in the images where there happens to be a gap, but I don't think that's the case. Just as interesting is that the size of the mass is 14 miles by four and a half miles. And when said person searched all of Antarctica to see if something similar was around, he couldn't find a thing. When he made a YouTube video about this and talked about it, the speculation from the viewers was that this was a government building of some kind, as they do apparently have the right to have Google Maps blur certain areas if they feel it'll expose certain things about said structures. However, a 14 mile long building in Antarctica is not only improbable, it's illogical. Granted, there are research stations and outposts from various countries on the continent right now, but they're nowhere near that size. Speculation on it continues. There have long been rumors that man of some form has lived on Antarctica, and should there be structures like this on the surface, imagine what can be below the snow and ice. Number 5. 71 million year old fossils. Antarctica is more than just a solid slab of land. There are islands there that are part of it. An expedition to James Ross Island, which is on the Antarctic Peninsula, in 2016 led to a massive discovery of fossils. These fossils were not only old, they were millions of years old. 71 million years old at the oldest to be precise. We found a lot of really great fossils, said University of Queensland School of Biology Sciences researcher Dr. Steve Salisbury. The rocks that we were focusing on come from the end of the age of dinosaurs, so most of them are between 71 and 67 million years old. Some of the things found on the island include an ancestor to the duck, as well as remnants of actual dinosaurs, including the Mosasaurus, which was part of the first Jurassic World film quite famously. The recovery of these fossils paint an interesting picture in regard to how these creatures died. And scientists are trying to clear that picture up, so it could lead to information about how these various creatures were extinct. The diversity and quality of what we found will provide a detailed snapshot of life in Antarctica at the end of the age of dinosaurs, Dr. Salisbury told the Wall Street Journal. It almost makes you wonder if another collection of fossils like these lies somewhere else in Antarctica. Number 4. Volcanoes I'm sure on some level it's weird to think that volcanoes could exist in an icy realm like Antarctica. However, the surface does not always determine what lies beneath. And as of 2017, not only were volcanoes found to be in Antarctica in various ways, some are completely covered by the ice sheet of the continent. A 2017 study claimed to have found 138 volcanoes, of which 91 were previously unknown which even if not all of those are proven to be volcanoes, that would mean that there are at least about 40 that are proven to be there. But there is a bigger issue at hand here. Since there are many volcanoes in Antarctica, what would happen if they were to erupt? If one of these volcanoes were to erupt, it could further destabilize West Antarctica's ice sheets, said glacier expert Robert Bingham, one of the paper's authors. Anything that causes the melting of ice, which an eruption certainly would, is likely to speed up the flow of ice into the sea. The big question is, how active are these volcanoes? That's something we need to determine as quickly as possible. The melting of ice is already a major issue in the world via the melting ice of the Arctic region that is raising the ocean's levels. Should one or several start to melt the massive ice continent that is Antarctica, that rising sea level could hit catastrophic proportions and could even start engulfing certain island nations. Granted, it is all speculation right now, but it is kind of worrying as a concept. Number 3. Meteorites Meteorites are considered one of the most important things found on Earth, as they come from space and detail aspects of life among the stars. However, they often don't survive impact with the Earth, or wither in regard to the weather of the planet. One place that doesn't happen, though, is Antarctica. And in 1984, a team of meteorite hunters found in the ice and snow a meteorite that was claimed to be from Mars. What's more, they believe that this is the oldest meteorite from Mars ever discovered, dating its age back to crystallized rocks from 4 billion years ago, when it was likely dislodged from the planet after a meteor struck the surface. Many consider this further proof that Mars had water in its early days based on the composition of the meteorite. The meteorite still holds much significance to this day, including being a window into the history of Mars. 
Which begs the question, could there be even more meteorites underneath the ice and snow that haven't been found yet? Given the amount of time Antarctica has been around, the probability of more meteorites is very possible. Number 2. Ocean Life while it's true that only a select few creatures live on the main surface of Antarctica, when it comes to the oceans and waters around and even under the continent, that's a different story. In fact, there are many different kinds of creatures that live under Antarctica via its depths, including creatures large and small that might surprise you. From squids to decapods, ice fish to leopard seals and more, there's a lot of life in the waters. What's more, despite common convention, not only are these animals adapted to the cold waters, it helps them live longer and sometimes grow even bigger than any other kind of its species. As if that wasn't enough, there are even some species of creature in the waters that have their own form of antifreeze to ensure that the cold waters won't freeze them solid. Number 1. It's True History Antarctica in many ways is an anomaly. It's a massive continent that has no human life, and is so unsuitable for human life that it's almost ludicrous to think that we could live there. And yet, various scans and research into the continent have shown that this may not have always been the case. Certain 3D scans, for example, show that part of Antarctica may just be the remains of some of the supercontinent that it was once part of, like Gondwana. That supercontinent had a mild climate, forests, and more at one point in time, and many think that if you were to dive deep enough into Antarctica, that's what you would find. Remnants of those forests from the time before it got very, very cold and frozen. The problem with finding out the truth about Antarctica and its history is that it's not the easiest place to scan and research, let alone dig into at significant depths. But should it be done, it could reveal a major part of history for not just the continent, but the world itself. Thanks for watching. What did you think of this look at what is and what could be under Antarctica? Are you surprised that such a number of things are honestly beneath the surface? Which of these items surprised you the most? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to Worldlist, and I'll see you next time on the channel.